Letter 163 You cannot escape your cross. Reverend Sister M, many are your letters which I have lying here, but much more numerous are your woes. So what am I to do with them, weak and sinful as I am myself? I have told you, just like I always tell myself, have patience. Have patience until the anger of the Lord shall have passed away. After all, it is not eternally that you and I will suffer. The Lord himself has said by the mouth of David, according to the multitude of sorrows, Thy consolations brought gladness unto my soul. Psalm ninety three nineteen. Now consolations M wouldn't mind having. As for her sufferings, isn't there some way she can blame them all on Matushka? And maybe on her favorite Batushka as well. If only she could be rid of those accursed illnesses. Poor M, and I had such hopes for you. What Matushka says to you, receive us from the Lord's mouth. And he, who is all-merciful and abundant in love, will reward you for this. That is, he will himself reward you personally. Love your neighbors and those living with you, and think well of them. If you cannot, then bemoan yourself and cry out to Jesus. Even if Anne takes you into her cell, and, and even if the Tsar Emperor himself were to take you into his palace, still you yourself and no one else must carry the cross appointed for you. You have been baptized. Well, so carry your cross.